Peace, beautiful people. Peace, meaning positive energy, always creates elevation. If you don't know who I am, my name is Tila. I created this channel to document my lifestyle, my successes, my growth, and my health in order to inspire others and continue to motivate myself. So these are the reasons why I moved to Africa. So one was because there was like a spiritual calling to me going towards Africa. This is the time that I felt like, why am I here? Why do I not like America? Why is it so hard to level up here? Why do I have to work so hard? Like, I never felt like I would not amount to anything. I just felt like, man, I'm gonna have to push hard. And, um, you know, like, I wasn't thinking about, like, leaning on to a man and letting the man, you know, create financial stability for me and I'd be a homemaker or anything like that. I was like this independent, you know, strong woman. So I was just like, but I don't want it to be this hard. I'm not like that type of labor type of girl. Like <laughs> when you think about it, um, anyway, so I had that spiritual calling and it just kept going towards, I never did any research, but I knew like, I want to go to Africa. I want to visit the motherland. And that's as far as it went, you know, and then I got back into Christianity and I was studying like Egyptian mythology, what they want to call it, which is Christian mythology as well. All religion is mythology, right? Um, but I started to study it and that even brought me closer to Africa and I started doing more research, right? And then that's when um, I came across Walter Maya and Akon, building Akon City. And this was right before COVID, right? And um, I heard Akon say uh, how you can go to Africa and be there for like two years and get rich by a, doing a business plan three years and you'll be rich there. And I was like, oh, that sound good. But, you know, yeah, I want to be rich, but that ain't the goal. Like, so um, that still went over my head, right? The calling was still there. It kept coming. So, yes, it's in different stages, but it was still calling me. That triggered me to go into, like, different places that spoke English um, on the motherland, on the continent. Which country spoke English? That's what I got into, right? And then, um, so life happened. I stopped researching and never got back into it. And then boom, the pandemic happened, right? And it came and Trump was in office. He opened my eyes to see like what America was really for. I really wanted to run away these days. I was hating the food I was eating. Even though I was vegan, I started to become raw vegan to eating raw before four and then eating the vet vegan meat and just it was just horrible like i found myself like getting into the cycle of trying to like exit and go further i moved from miami to go to winter haven i didn't like winter haven and then i started to like it because it was more country it was a little further away from the city that i can't i came from which is miami miami is fast like I lived around Norland area. I went to Miramar High School and um, I went to Brentwood Elementary. So that gives you a background of what area I was in over there, right? So Carroll City, Miramar Gardens, that area. And I went to Winter Haven. It was slower paced and everything. And then I was just like, I wanna live like off grid. I wanna live off grid and I was thinking, why not live in Africa where I don't even have to live off grid because off grid living is like a form of that lifestyle when I started to dig into it and watch Walter Maya and watch other people that was on YouTube who went to Ghana when it was the return to motherland. So that's when I said, you know what? I'm gonna devise a plan. Let me figure out, am I running away from America? And running away from my problems because it just costs too much 
no that's not it so i dug back and i dug into my heart and thought about it like i sat in silence and it all came to me i want to be on the motherland because one the way of life the the fruit the vegetables um the atmosphere the traditions the morals you know the, the fast life is is there but it's not like the american exposed no morals you know women can just do whatever men can just do whatever you know and i wanted that for myself and my family you know i didn't want my kids to be raised by other kids who are trying to act like adults and adults who are trying to act like celebrities right so i wanted to exit that matrix lifestyle so everything was just coming together i even rewatched the documentary of matrix the first one and the last one um and i just started you know having a, an awakening watching different movies like they live and um A couple other ones I might list them here so if you want to um, get into why you should leave as well watch these movies right here they are eye-opener okay so after I knew that I wanted to leave and what lifestyle I wanted I was like and I also would like to try like an African man this is the time that I broke up with my youngest dad's daughter and um i was like i want to continue my family it's been three years since i've you know or two years i don't know but it's been some years that we've been in an on and off relationship i'm just tired of it my kids don't need to see any more yelling and fights and stuff like that so yeah and i said it's, it's time to change myself first let me do some healing let me go inward and see what I need to fix and analyze what I have going on in my own relationship and not blame the other because we already know what they did. It's about me, right? And I said Africa would definitely help me with that and to be grounded in everything. So I said, let me just leave this land. It's just, I, I'm tired of it as a whole, right? Um, so I left. And then the major one is like... Um, the opportunity here in Africa. Like once you get here, you're gonna feel very creative to wanna help out, want to create, want to innovate, you know, and start a business. So to sum it up, I moved because I wanted a lifestyle of like homestead morals and um, living slowly actually getting into nature um i've told y'all about my um my vision for my family which was so my vision for my life and i have it written down in my book is to live freely without the worry of finances to create a generation that can sustain life without the governs of the world to break bad habits that doesn't lead to growth and forwardness, to create generational wealth that can be passed down through wealth, knowledge, health, and not only in the form of money, okay? So that was my vision for my family and my future family. And um, I said, I just don't see it here in America unless it's off grid. I saw that I can create that vision faster or um, I'm going to say not faster, but with urgency in Africa, you know, more than I could in America. Because to buy land there and to build, you got to have a, a big hefty amount of money. And um, at that moment, I was done hustling, trying to get it out the mud. and. Um, it's a fun game when you start early. And the fact that I'm about to be 33, December 25th, I wanted to just start my life now. And Africa was the way to go for me. Thanks for watching. If you got this far, give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much, guys, that I really appreciate it. 
leave a comment below on why you want to come to africa or what you think about this video and watch the next video either one watch the next video